Okay, here is how to swing, okay? Now I'm going to use a C scale, starting up here on G. But you can do whatever you, uh, you know, you can use whatever scale you want when you're practicing. You know, I think I'm going to, st I'll start with one note, just so that we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll just get the hang of it. So I'm just going to play a G note. And I'm going to play straight eights, and then I'm going to play swing eights. And then you can just try to copy me. Here's straight eights. One and two and three and four and. Okay? Now, if we break that into a triplet, one and a two and a three and a four and a, and get rid of the ands, as indicated on the sheet, it sounds like this. One and a two and a three, a four, a. So instead of one and a, we go. One, a two, a three, a four, a. Okay, now let me just apply that to a scale. Here's the scale played as straight eighths. I just played it from top to bottom, a C scale. Here it is with a swing beat. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to play, I'm just going to uh, give myself a, just a little tiny rhythm here. I'll just play a G chord. Okay, using that 4-4 four, four beat, which is what I suggest that you do. I mean, if you have a looper at home, you can do that. But otherwise, uh, just, try to, um, just try to do it as best you can. Oh, whoops, I was going to play that on a C chord. I'm just going to change that. Here we go. Here's a C chord. Okay, there's a C chord. Now, I'm going to play swing eights over top of that, okay? Using the scale I just played, a C major scale using open strings. straight eight so you can hear the difference. Here it is swung. You can practice that. Stop that. Okay. Swing. Okay. That's it. How to swing.